So inside of After Effects CS5, we have a new feature that's specifically targeted at rotoscoping artists. Now, if you've never done rotoscoping before, rotoscoping is simply the act of taking a clip of video, in this case we've got this shot of uh, this actor here, and removing them or isolating them out from the background. So it's the whole concept of cutting this person out. Rotoscoping in the past has been a very tedious process because it's done on a frame by frame by frame basis. Um, so people who do hand roto work um, are just known to have the patience of a saint because you know even a very short shot can take hours or even days to complete. The new roto brush works something like this. I can start with this uh, piece of video here and we'll go ahead and just open this up so I'm looking specifically at this layer and I can paint on this layer. The roto brush is found up in the top toolbar. I can go ahead and click on that and the way the tools work with the roto brush it's very similar to the way uh, the quick select function in Photoshop works. So I can start with this uh, just kind of a green paintbrush here and begin to start painting across the image and what you'll see is there's this pink uh, selection outline here that starts to form. You can see that it automatically uh, grabs the image here and we'll just start to paint across the shoulder here just kind of complete uh, this out get that little bit on the end there and also this uh, part of the collar here we'll make sure that we have that included as well now we also have to train the rotor brush of what we don't want so in this case I'm gonna hold down the option or alt key on my computer and just paint kind of across the bricks in the background here paint across this smoke and this uh, cross over here and what I'm doing is I'm effectively training the rotor brush hey this these are the areas that I don't want in the shot now to have this automatically start to uh, track the edge of this I just start this playing forward and you'll see that it automatically does the work of adjusting the edge of the mat um, so frame by frame this goes through and makes the adjustments for me it's using a combination of shape and color information to track the area and if any point I need to make a change I can just pause this and say you know what I want to keep this area here we'll go ahead and just make an adjustment to this edge right there and it will use <clears throat> it will use this new information uh, as it moves forward now once I have this done I can go back to my composition view and you can see that we've got the edge cut out right now but you notice that it's kind of a harsh edge along certain areas here inside of the rotor brush there's a feature called refine mat I can turn that on and that will go through and add some blending to this. It goes through and does three steps. The first step is it reduces chatter. Chatter basically is it looks for areas where the edge has a lot of motion in it and that's typically caused by noise. So it will automatically go through and reduce the chatter in the image. There's also a really amazing feature that looks and detects motion blur in the shot. So if you have somebody who's maybe standing still waving their hand, it'll automatically uh, kind of open up the mat around the, the waving hand, looking for areas where um, you're getting that, the blurred pixels, and it'll automatically add a, a soft feathered um, edge to that portion of the mat. So this is some real amazing voodoo going on here with the motion blur function. The last thing is there's an, a decontamination function and decontamination basically looks for areas where the background pixels might be getting picked up um, inside the mat and it automatically goes through and does a decontamination. I've just turned on something called view decontamination area and so this is showing me that it's applying this most heavily in the edge and you can see where it's a little bit wider in certain areas where it's detecting it needs it more like in the skin tones here. So that's the uh, the rotor brush feature. One last thing to mention, these functions here, the refined matte functions, the three uh, reduced chatter, motion blur, and decontamination, we found that they're so useful, even if you don't use the rotor brush, that we've created a separate effect for them. So over in the effects panel, if I just type in refined matte, you'll see that we have a separate drag and drop effect. So even in a situation where maybe you're using a different technology to cut the mat, um, you know, maybe green screen, for example, uh, and you're doing keying, you can still use uh, these refined matte functions as a drag and drop effect.